So people often ask me what happens in a cognome movement session. So I thought that I would record a video and uh, and then explain what happens. OK, um, what I've also done is a lovely lady called Claire um, had a session with me around around the feeling of anger. And um, Claire said, do you, do you want to record this? And I said, well, that would be great. Are you sure? Because this is this is personal to you. And she said, yeah, I don't mind. So I said, OK, then fine. So 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 we recorded it. So I'm going to I'm going to include the recording so that you can see one, um, the initial part of the process and two, when we get to the neurology, um, which I'll explain coming up. So the first part that I do is 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 just to talk to and it's not a non talking therapy, but I still need to understand what the feeling is. So the first thing that I do is I say, what do you want to work on today? What's the emotion? And then let's let's let's, let's take um, Claire's um, emotion, which was anger. She said, I've got anger. And I was like, where are you feeling that in your body? And she said, I'm just feeling it here. OK. And does it have a colour? So she'll tell me if it's got a colour. Um, same for you. You would say, you know, if it has a colour, don't worry if it hasn't got a colour. Has it got a shape? Yeah, it's a mass. Some people don't have a shape. They go, no. Is it fluid? Does it move? Does this feeling move? And then I ask on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the strongest, how intense is it? Now, m most people start at 10. I've had one person say it's off the scale. That's how bad it was, was for that, that, that individual. And that's fine. But I still have to have that scale so that we can measure whether this is working or not. I've not had anyone come to me where it's not worked, just so as you know. OK, so so once we've done that, we then get into the first session now or, or the first part of the session. So so the session is split into throwing the ball, facing me in one direction, and then we do the neurology, which I'll talk about in a sec, and then we change, we, we move around the room and then we stand in a different position and then throw the ball again. And then I check the neurology and then we go around. So basically we go around in a circle um, doing the same thing, but we're mixing it up. We are disrupting the nervous system because this is what this does. Cognome movement disrupts your nervous system so that the brain can form a different opinion of what's happening. So as we start to calm the nervous system, different parts of the brain are going to come in with different perspectives, which are probably more healthier for you. OK, and as this as this nervous system calms through 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 throwing the ball and doing the, the neurology, which gives you the different perspectives, then change occurs. It's as simple as that. OK, like I said, it's non talking. It's not even a therapy. We can't call it a therapy. It's a it's a low energy device. That's how the FDA describe it, um, because it's not a talking therapy. And all we're doing is throwing a ball backwards and forwards to you. You're doing the rest. You are your body. Your own body is working it out for you. There's no counseling here. There's no 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 psychology going on. It's just you and your brain giving yourselves space to have a different perspective. Simple as that. So let's have a look at um, Claire throwing the ball and then I'll come back and then we'll talk about the neurology and then we'll watch Claire um, go through that first bit on the on the neurology to see um, to see what crops up for her. OK, so I'm going to throw you the ball. It's going to be left to right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to receive the ball and say the, the first color that you see on there. Okay, yeah. there's a color here which is like the only shape. Yeah. Okay, uh, and that is an orange color. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. And all I want you to do is focus on that feeling in the chest yeah. and in your is it diaphragm. Is it stomach? Is it stomach as yeah. well? And just focus on that on how you feel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And we're going to slowly go up the body. Okay. And um. I'm going to see how it goes. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Blue. Okay. 
Orange, blue, orange, yellow, red, orange, purple, blue, orange, your ex-husband, purple, orange, purple, dad. Red, blue, green, green, blue, green, blue. Last one. <laughs> green. Brilliant. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I think something shifted there because I felt that. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. So something something small shifted then for Claire, but you see how she was like breathing in, because that was it. It was like beginning to release for her. So we'll have a look at the neurology now and uh, see what came from that. Let's have a look. So I am going to just hold the ball up, mm -hmm. okay? And we're going to do just a figure eight with the ball like this, but I'm going to do it really slowly. Mm -hmm. all right? I want you to keep your chin towards me. Mm -hmm. I need that with your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just want you to follow with your eyes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now, so should I like focus on one? Focus on one. Yeah. yeah. If, 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 if as I'm moving it, it's sort of my hand moves and disappears, yeah. just then focus on another yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. But what I'm looking for is you're going to have, as we go through this, you're going to have different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the feeling that you've got, is just fo is focusing on just one thing that you keep thinking about, mm -hmm. which is for you as anger, because mm -hmm. that's how you feel. Yeah. And you probably feel let down, and there's a lot of other things that are around that, okay? Yeah. All right? All of this is now going to start to come out. Okay. So as we do the eyes, and anything comes to mind, anything, yeah. just voice it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Nice and slow.
moved just flashing before me down long green gown. Little purple. Yeah. Little purple music. Mm. And lash out or punch the wall. Punch the wall. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll run away and be on my own. <laughs> Sit in the corner and collapse and cry. <laughs> then I feel guilty for doing that. <laughs> There's the guilt because I can't do it all. Can't do it all. Rid of the anger. <laughs> Rid of the anger. Done. I feel like how much more am I meant to take? <laughs> Trying to do everything and I can't do it. can see there there was a lot of emotion coming out there's and you could feel the anger from her um, as it was beginning to release what what was interesting with 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 Claire is she was holding on to that anger and that anger she just just it's she just put it down to everything at home okay but actually we had, I asked her to come in for another session because following that, she posted that lots of things that keep keep going wrong. She keeps, this happened, this happened, like nothing seems to be going right. And I sort of knew that she'd need another session, but it's up to the individual really to come back to me and say, you know what, Karen, there's something else here. Yes, the anger has disappeared, but the, the frustrations... I just, I'm still, there's still something else there. And in Claire's case, I knew that there was something else there, but it's for her to come back to me. But I did contact her and I said, do you not think you need to come in for another session? She says, I don't know, do I? And I'm like, well, I think you should. And when you get here, I'll explain why. So when she came back and she went, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. 
And then I said some things, some, some, some things that she told me about over, over the past few years. And what we ended up doing in fairness was a grief session. So she'd had a number of losses, including her, her dad, um, all sorts of things, lots of losses in her life that just went one after the other. And a part of grief process is also anger. Like we're angry at things. So Claire had developed this, this anger, um, which we'd calmed because it disappeared. She said to me, Karen, I don't know where it's gone. She had to process the fact that it wasn't there anymore. And, um, and so I said to her, I said, well, your yeah, anger stems really from that grief. So, so I gave her a grief session. And actually that, that, that cleared it all up for her. So there, that's what a Cogno movement session does for people. It is, I would say it's, it is transformational. It's life changing for each individual who has a session with me. Some sessions, one or two, possibly three. I did have one lady who had three, but there was a lot going on. She had six years of, of stuff um, happening to her and stuff that she couldn't let go of because of guilt. Um, and But we did shift it in the end and um, and all is well with her. So if you know anybody, whether it's yourself or someone you love or you care about and you think that they probably could do with some support just give them my details all right thank you for watching